Welcome at ForexistTrading.com. Today is 11.30 a.m. right now, Eastern Standard Time, and we are talking about 25th of October. It's Tuesday, and right now we are looking at daily chart FNP, S&P 500. So uh, we are talking about growing trend right now, and we seen here a zigzag pattern, which is telling us that the trend has changed into the growing trends so uh, we are talking about many buyers in the market and right now market is taking a breath but the trend is growing so probability and statistically uh, we are talking about the uh, uptrend movement in the near and more far future so we can take a look at four hour chart as well and we see here that market is accelerating from some inconvenient level and right now a uh, market can go down a little bit lower as well but uh, again statistically a uh, probability of market moving uh, forward to the upside is much bigger than market breaking out and making another loss even though if it will be happening the market probably will be stopped out somewhere here and the market will turn uh, to the upside again so let's take a look at other charts like daily chart we see the similar situation around here and it's not coincidence that daily chart of S&P 500 has this uh, kind of growing wave and we see similar behavior at daily chart euro dollar and market is telling us that it's switching its trend to the upside after this big wave we couldn't be sure at some point at this point or this point that if market will take a breath it might be go uh, it might be going lower significantly but uh, this kind of behavior is telling us that there was no uh, particular sellers so uh, the only sellers at the market were uh, the traders people that were um, uh, doing some profits from this kind of wave this kind of growing wave they took the profit from it that's how it's seen at the chart uh, so we see something similar at the pound chart as well only here we got more stronger buyers so there are more uh, buyers with the pound we can also take a look at 30 minute chart at euro dollar currency and today we've seen a beautiful um, flag going lower a little bit lower but you see here uh, the buyers doing three candles move uh, are very strong and here we got around 30 candles or something like that and uh, the sellers are uh, ten, 10 times weaker than buyers before that's what this flag is showing us about uh, so the probability of the movement is upside of course I mean the buyers came back to the market but I was telling at the uh, uh, online course that this kind of pattern isn't really one of my favorites I mean all growing patterns aren't my best but this kind of especially is uh, very often moving upwards and doing a fake break and going down again or uh, meeting the support resistance so if you uh, go to the market enter the market right here you have a big probability of market reverse at some point or fake break to the upside and reverse at some point so again this kind of behavior isn't really interesting and statistically uh, we see a lot of uh, rapid movement that might be um, bringing some new um, unadvanced buyers at the market uh, but it's uh, th those kind of moves are finishing soon and the market is taking some bigger breath or corrective breath or doing a correction like it happened here so I'm not sure how the market will be going down lower here but I know this uh, going to the market at this point or somewhere around here isn't really the best thing I can do for myself at the Forex market so it's best to know um, at Forex online courses we are talking about this uh, a lot patterns that might bring you some money or patterns that will only bring you to the chart and take your time so right now there is bigger probability the market will uh, go higher from those uncomfortable levels uh, so the statistically uh, market will be moving higher again but if it's uh, gonna go around here we might see some possible um, drop 
but I'm not sure about this movement because the trend is pretty much growing right now. So uh, probability of, of the movement is to the upside, of course. Uh, so right now it took a breath and maybe will be coming to those levels again. But it doesn't mean I will be uh, entering the market. I'm looking for some more specific movement. I mean, uh, I'm looking for big probability movement. And this kind of movement I was talking about today at Forex Online Courses, at Forex East Trading. And we see here a flag that is producing a downtrend movement after a stabilized um, downtrend movement before. So we are talking about the sellers at the seller's market. That's very convenient. Uh, instead of looking for the buyers at the buyer's market, we can look for fast sellers and strong seller market. So I'm talking more about those flags and how they are uh, are different from each other at different charts. We see some uh, differences between the uh, environment in this kind of trade and other ones as well and different movement after different environment even though they are looking almost the same or um, there are very um, similar moves very similar patterns but there are some uh, detail uh, differences and that's all we are talking about the uh, at the uh, forex courses and videos online and everything because those little differences are um, showing us the profits in the future so you have to have um, a lot of knowledge from experience I mean your experience or my experience or somebody else's experience to know the difference between uh, between those patterns and how to differentiate them uh, at the chart and how to use them. There are many situations that might be looking very similar but the environment is different and the um, forward move is also different. Sometimes it's more uh, dramatic, sometimes it's uh, less dynamic and that's also what I'm talking about at Forex online classes. So thank you very much for listening. I hope it was interesting for you. You can see some more video analysis and trade examples. When I will have time, I will be uh, bringing some new videos um, to the table. I mean, I will be showing some uh, video trades example. But right now I forgot about the gold, which is a beautiful... A bullish instrument and we are looking for those bullish situations when we can invest money investing is different from day trading investing is all about long-term relationship with the instrument day trading is more about going in and getting out as soon as possible so uh, right now we are looking at this little kind of movement so I was talking about about this particular move about case ago in different analysis. You can meet it online at my website, a different website. And I was talking also about it at the uh, Forex course. And I was saying something like this. At daily chart, we are looking right now, it doesn't really seem that the market will go, go down lower and lower to meet new down uh, trend levels, but that that four hour chart, so in medium term, we might see some kind of correction. That if the correction will meet those uh, uncomfortable lower levels, it might be bringing some new buyers because, because the people will be looking for some interesting levels to invest the money in gold to buy it at some um, serious lower levels, attractive price. That's what we are looking for. And, and that's what really happened. The market came lower at the 4-hour chart, but right now it reversed from an uncomfortable zone and right now is moving uh, very rapidly higher. And if it's going to meet new highs and stay right there, uh, it might be interesting level to invest some money from the future purposes. I mean, medium term? Medium term will be to the next support resistance like this or like this or long term level will be like keeping this instrument in your, at your wallet in your portfolio for some longer specific time well, because it might be growing to two three thousand dollars as well. That's no problem for this instrument in this kind of um, uh, reality when the uh, economic uh, of US and Eurozone um, at some moments 
um, is really falling down when I hear the news and sometimes it's getting better both of these actions can, can really uh, inflame uh, the buyers uh, at the uh, gold market so with this interesting accent uh, we might be finishing this uh, trading review for this week thank you very much for listening um, I hope I see you more at forexistrading.com. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a good week. Thank you.